Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Oshle here. So this is a new filming setup in my new place, so you guys will have to let me know in the comments if this works with the lighting and everything like that. I'm using studio lights, but natural light as well, so I'm not 100% sure what this looks like yet, so we'll just have to see in the editing. But you guys can let me know if you have any suggestions. If you like this, if you don't like this, let me know. But in today's video, I will be doing the book talk, book talk, booktube real talk tag and i saw this tag going around here on booktube a while back and i did want to do it so i decided why not At that time i was in the throes of moving and etc so it wasn't the right time but now it's the right time so without further ado let's jump right in number one what's something that nobody told you about booktube before you started your channel uh, the one thing that no one really told me is that there is really no formula. You might think there is going into it like, oh, I need to be, hi guys, hi, oh, I'm so happy, I'm so bubbly and, you know, super hyper, super energetic. You have to film in front of bookshelves or, you know, that you have to have like, like super curated content and you know, all these special effects with your editing, you have to have a super fancy camera and lights, and you know, you have to constantly be reading like what's hot, you know, the hottest YA books out, the most popular stuff, you have to make wrap ups, you have to do TBRs, you have to do reviews, you know, all that stuff, you have to do book hauls, you don't. There is no formula. Um, there are no types of videos that you need to make or have to make, that's all bullshit really. Um, you just have to be original, be creative, be yourself. If you're not peppy, don't overly hype yourself up to be peppy and bubbly in your videos. If you're more low key, more calm, uh, then that's who you need to be in your videos. If you are not interested in making the typical booktube content, you know, TBRs, wrap ups, then don't. If you don't want to do book reviews, then don't. If you don't want to do reading vlogs, those have been really big on booktube lately, then don't. If you don't want to have yourself in every thumbnail holding up a pile of books, then don't. There is no formula. There is no way that you're supposed to be or should be. Just make videos that interest you. Make videos that you're passionate about. Read books that you're passionate about and talk about books that you are passionate about. And your audience will find you. So there's that. Number two, what is your opinion on typical booktube videos? Wrap ups, TBRs, hauls. I don't actually have an issue with the typical booktube video videos I actually believe that my channel would be a lot bigger in terms of subscriber count and views if I did more of those type of videos those usually tend to be this um, besides my discussion videos those videos tend to be my most watched like my TBRs my wrap-ups my hauls um, those are my most viewed videos outside of discussions so I think if I actually did more of those, I would probably have way more subscribers, more engagement, more watch time on each video, etc. So I don't really have anything against them. I think that they are good for what they do. I think that for people who strictly come to booktube just to see what, you know, they find someone that they like, they like the personality, they have similar reading tastes or even not similar reading tastes. You know, they really just want to get down to the nitty gritty. And th that's a lot of people. They just want to come on here. They want to see a book haul. They want to, if they, you know, are looking for something to read or looking for suggestions on books to buy. If they just want to see a wrap up. They want to see, you know, a TBR. That's it. You know, they want the bread and butter. So I don't have any issues with those videos. I just find them to be very monotonous and kind of boring. So that's kind of why I stopped doing them. I did them a lot my very first year two years on booktube and then I kind of stopped because it just got very boring and you guys know me it's really hard for me to stick to a TBR so I don't really do those as much anymore but I do want to find a way to talk about the books that I am reading I'm starting to do reading vlogs so you know keep an eye out for those once I actually do edit them but I want to find a way to talk about the books that I am reading in a, a way that's more interesting to me than sitting down and filming a wrap-up because there's something about monthly wrap-ups that are so mind-numbingly like boring for me to film, which is why I don't do them anymore. But yeah, they serve their purpose. Number three, what is an assumption you had about BookTube before you joined? Was it proven to be correct or not? Uh, I don't know if I actually had any assumptions. 
I definitely saw that there is kind of like a formula in a way. There's no formula, like I said, number one, but there also is a formula in the sense of the people, the type of person that people gravitate to in, in terms of subscriber count. And I mean, that was proven to correct. It's, it's usually like hetero, cis, um, females that, you know, are Caucasian and towards the more bubbly side that read a ton of young adult novels and a lot of like the popular hot books and upload constantly, if not every day, then at least three to four days, five days, maybe a week. You know, there is kind of like a recipe for success, I guess. If your idea of success is growing your channel quickly and, you know, having a large platform, then I definitely saw that assumption realized. So there's that. Hold on. I got, oh, I got a puppy sleeping at my feet, so. All right, number four. What is something you've done that has actually helped you grow your audience? You know, something I've done that's helped me grow my audience is actually be honest. I know you guys, a lot of you guys found me through my Zenith review. And I remember how scared I was to post that video. And I thought I was going to get a ton of backlash. I thought that, you know, worst case scenario, I would have to leave BookTube because the backlash would be too much. But I never imagined that it would catch on as much as it did and that it would resonate with a lot of you the way that it did. And so I just found that being honest and just being truthful and really speaking my thoughts on that, as well as some other discussions that I've, that I've either joined or started on my channel, people really seem to like to hear my honest opinion. And that has grown my channel more than anything else. So that was really shocking to me. I did not expect that, but it is a very pleasant surprise. Number five. What is a common mistake you see new booktubers making or one that you made? A common mistake I see new booktubers making is feeling that you have to buy a lot of books to be successful on booktube. I made that mistake when I first joined, but it was a mistake and it wasn't a mistake. On one hand, it was a mistake because I honestly felt like I had to do book hauls and I had to buy a large amount of books in order to be successful and to have content and to have, you know, material for my videos. That was a mistake because Library is free. You can always utilize the library. You can always, you know, do ebooks and things like that. But at the same hand, it wasn't on the same hand. Um, it wasn't a mistake because I am a book collector and I actually do enjoy buying books and collecting them. I do not buy them anywhere near as much as I used to, but it is something that I enjoy and I do not feel guilty for doing so. So, but yeah, let's see. Number six. What are your thoughts on, oh, something I want to add to number five, a common mistake, jumping on bandwagons. <laughs> when everyone hates a book or, you know, a big booktuber starts a discussion or even maybe a smaller booktuber starts a discussion and it catches on fire, then all of a sudden you feel like you have to start making that same type of content. You know, basically copycat videos and copycat style. Uh, that is a huge mistake I see a lot of new book, newer booktubers making. Like I will maybe click on a newer booktuber's video because the thumbnail catches my eye or maybe it's recommended to me. And I watch them and I start to get this eerie feeling while I'm watching like this video reminds me of someone else. The mannerisms, the language used, the style, even the editing, the way the video is shot, just everything. And I start to get this eerie feeling that I've seen this type of video slash personality slash content before. And then it clicks and I'm like, oh, this is kind of like this person's content or this is kind of like this person's content. So don't do that. Don't be a copycat. Don't jump on bandwagons, especially if you don't truly believe that sentiment. Be yourself and just be real. Be who you are and don't be afraid to authentically be yourself. Number six, what are your thoughts on working with publishers and sponsorships? Honestly, get your coin. Seriously, get your coin fam. Just keep it honest. Um, maintain your integrity. Always let pe you know people know. Always let your audience know, your subscribers, your fans, whatever you want to call us. Hey, this video is sponsored by such and such. And these are the reasons why I feel that this is a good sponsor. And this is why I've aligned myself with this company or this publisher or whatever. And then just take it from there. And honestly, we're here for the content. We don't really necessarily care. It's just when you know, there are underhanded methods being used and lies and cover-ups 
and you know you are saying you read a book but you didn't or you know you're promoting a book because you're getting paid a lot of money for it but it's not a book that you would actually genuinely read on your own so many things just keep it honest keep your integrity be genuine stay true to yourself don't make it into an infomercial super fake super curated and just gross you know we can we can read through that <laughs> so quickly and we can see through the bullshit so that's just my thing number seven do you think booktube is dying hell no new people are joining every single day this platform has expanded and exploded and it's growing at an extremely rapid rate so i do not feel that booktube is dying whatsoever i'm actually more excited than ever to be a part of this platform and to be a part of this community here on youtube i cannot wait to see what the future holds for all of us especially as we are becoming more diverse and i say that not to say that we weren't diverse before i say that to say that those of us who were, are marginalized are being more recognized and more visible now and we are kind of blazing our own path and making our own lane and so that is really exciting so that is the book booktube real talk tag for you guys i do tag Brittany from melanin eclectic troy nicole from what's your new channel's name it used to be a cole's book corner but bookish wallflower i tag myona from little wolf reads i tag carrie the book bell carrie hey i tag damien i forgot your da your channel name i'm so sorry damien damien i tag you i tag oh who am i who else am i tagging i will tag a few more people and i will leave that in the description box i just can't remember everyone right now that i want to tag because it's really hard for me to remember people's channel names story of my life but yes so i tag you all below definitely go do this tag if you haven't already and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah. bye oh you want to see the puppy There we go. This is my li new little baby, Tobey. Yes, Tobey, not Toby. Um, Tobey, because that's how we would say it at home. My baby. Look at his little face. He was sleeping at my feet, so he got his first round of vaccinations today, so he's very, very sleepy. I'm going to put him back down at my feet now, and I will be doing a video with this little guy soon talking about the story of how I came to adopt Tobey. And yes, Teddy is still here. He's behind the camera, living his best almost four-year-old life. All right, we're gonna go now. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.